Hello YouTubers, only me. Uh, it is Monday. Yeah, Monday. The come on, Hooch. Come on. Yeah, it's Monday, the twelfth of December. I just hope this bit's not slippery. Actually, everything's trying to um, melt a bit, but it's a little bit foggy, literally on the foggy side, <laughs> the foggy side of life. Uh, I've got a few little updates. Uh, I want to uh, tell you. Um, so I'm hoping this won't go over 20 minutes, but if it does go over 20 minutes, then meh. But before I get there, um, I'm starting to hate Facebook. I mean, I, half the time... I love I love Facebook because most of my friends and family is on Facebook. But the problem with Facebook is you get spammers. So yeah. So yeah, when it comes to Facebook, they're not really good where security is concerned. Because I had a friends request uh, three times already from people saying that they are this person but they're not this person How do you know? um, and no this is a this is not I'm not talking about the other one because I knew it was that particular someone it was let's just say these type of spammers they copy your information and somehow creates a new Facebook account anyway I had three friend requests um, two friend requests was from a neighbor uh, next door. Also, they say it's from my neighbor. I'm like, I'm already friends with you. And then another friend request was from my grandma. Also, they say it was my grandma. And obviously my mum's on the phone to grandma, um, telling us it's not really her. Uh, and it's like, oh my god, can Facebook get any worse? That's why I like the likes of um, YouTube, Instagram, sometimes TikTok and stuff. Because you don't get spammed or whatever. Because if it detects any spams, it blocks them straight away. So their security is quite, yeah, intense. Where Facebook, they've got a bit of a soft touch. So it's like, ugh. so. So I might warn Facebook again to say if they see a friend's request from me do not accept it because this is because I've only got one account on Facebook only one and I'd rather stick to the one unless if I forget my password but I can't see me forgetting my password because if I did I've got an email to back me up
So just in case if I do forget my password, I've got an email to back me up. So for now, at least I've only got one account with Facebook, one account with well, two accounts with YouTube, two accounts with TikTok, one account on Instagram, and one account on Twitter. Even though I barely, barely use uh, Twitter, and I didn't know, I don't know why. I installed Twitter, but hey ho, I installed Twitter. And that was what? A year ago, nearly? Give or take. Must be a year ago since I've done Twitter. As in, like, signed it, like, registered for it. Because I kept putting it off and putting it off, going, nah, I don't want another social media in my life. And I thought, I'll give it a go, and yeah. So yeah. So that's that out the way. Uh, so yeah. So I might do that on Facebook. Anyways, on to the updates. Update one. Um, because we're still having problems with BT to this day, which is happening in just over two months on end, it's mainly to do with the phone. My mum is now going to be moving on to the Fire Stick, not because of BT. Well, mainly that is because with BT, we haven't really got a lot of channels like Sky Cinema and stuff. Where with the fire stick that we're hoping to get, and it's going to get upgraded, that's going to cost. Um, and then once it's up, so it gets upgraded for 50 odd quid, or 55, I think Dad said. Uh, and that's not bad. Upgrading it so that you've got all the channels. So that'd be awesome, getting a fire stick. It'd be weird having a fire stick, to be honest. But yeah, it'd be cool at the same time. I've heard about these fire sticks and yeah. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get. I just hope this problem gets sorted with BT, mainly with the phone situation. Basically, what's happening is um, we can't receive incoming calls. We can do outgoing calls, it just can't receive incoming calls. It's like, what? I mean, some numbers, like my mum's, she can do an incoming call to the house phone and it will work. Where for people like me, my dad and my grandma, for example, yeah, they can't get in touch. It's like, what? So, yeah. Crisis, absolute crisis. So that's the first update. So we're, I think we're gonna get a phone call again. Um, at some point, uh, about this, and find out what the hell's happening because there must be a fault somewhere. They say, Oh, oh, there's nothing wrong at our par end. Well, there must be. Otherwise, this wouldn't be happening. So, yeah. But that's the first update. Second update. Uh, who's just going to go to the vets tomorrow? He's going at 2. I think it's 2 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. And it's nothing to be concerned about. He's just going to get vaccinated. It's his yearly jabs. So yeah, he's going to get vaccinated tomorrow. 
they're talking about. It's his birthday today, so <laughs> happy birthday, Hooch. He's just like, uh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the second update. Who just having? Uh, he's got a pet vet appointment. Third update on the twenty first of December. I have two appointments myself. One is with the dentist at ten past nine in the morning. Which I'm kind of looking forward to, ish. So I'm kind of going, hmm, what are I going to say about my teeth this time? I mean, last time they were quite positive when it came to my teeth. But because it's going to be a different dentist or, well, d different, like, person for the dentist, I'm like, hmm. So I'm like, hmm. I'm like, please say something positive about my teeth. Uh, and my second appointment at, is at half five, and that's with the doctors to deal with this. My cyst. And yes, it had grown. Uh, it's slowly shrinking because. I've been on medication since uh, Thursday. Nope. Yeah, Thursday. So yeah, um, my medication will end tomorrow. At least I'm hoping it will end tomorrow. So I'm like, yay! Basically, I had to take antibiotics, so I'm I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to tomorrow when it finally ends because to my calculations after about two more tonight then I've got one to take tomorrow that's it that's all I've got left so yeah I'm looking forward to that I really am because I hate taking medication, I must admit. So that's the third update. Uh, fourth update. Me and my mum will be seeing a good friend of ours um, to give her her Prezi and card and stuff. I just hope we don't chat for too long. Because we're going to hers, then we're going to another friend of ours, who was my mum's old boss. So we got his as well to deliver as well. So that'd be awesome. I hope we're not there for ages either. But hey ho. Um. I know it's about. It that I can think of. So I'm like, Ooh. so yeah, so that's a four foot day. A fifth update. Hopefully after New Year, find out when to book for my um, uh, driving test. So I need to get my, my head around my theory and highway code, etc. And then hopefully when I get booked in, hopefully I'll pass 
first go. By saying that, my cousin, or is it my second cousin? No, my second cousin, sorry. My second cousin, um, he's 18 and he's past first go. I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to do that. And I'm like 23. So yeah, he's passed. He's finally passed. So I felt I was, I was so happy for him, obviously. Even though he's in Canterbury, so I can't remember if I said congratulations to him or not. I can't remember. But I know when I saw it on Facebook, I was like, yeah. I thought, good job. Not mention any names, but yeah, it's my second cousin. I have uh, first cousins and second cousins. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to have third cousins and stuff. Oh my god. Trees growing. That's all I can say. So that's the fifth update uh six update um you know how I was talk- talking about the bank about seems like nearly three weeks ago well you know when I said that I went to the bank to sort out my card saying that I couldn't make any payments online well, continuing on that, and the whole um, registering for online banking, um, a bit of confusion came in. First, a payment came out, and it was my phone bill, and I thought, hang on, if I'm able to pay for my phone how am I unable to do like make any transactions online so yeah it didn't make sense in my head even though I knew how much I had in my bank I was like yeah why can't I do that so I got sent a code and they did say they were going to send me a code through uh, the post so I got this code and then I was like, at first I didn't know what to do with this code. What? Okay, what do I do? So then I had an urgent message from Zoom to do a term three. And it was to pay um, to keep my place or someone else would take it. And I thought, nope, I'm going to do it. So I tried to pay it. Didn't work. Because it wanted to identify it was actually me doing this. And to do that, they would have to call me with the landline that's under repair. Or I can contact them. So I can, you know, get it changed. So I thought, okay, I'll do that. I'll call them. So it took a while. And then I told I told the guy on the phone, I told him what uh, what I wanted done, uh, what transaction I'm doing. So I had to give over quite a bit of detail. Um, but before that, this might sound weird, When it was the machine, it asked me to put in the code that um, that was um, uh, on my letter. And somehow, Donut Me, I changed it. 
so yeah, the last one. That was, so the code that's on my letter has been deactivated, and then I'm using this new code. So I'm like, oh boy, what have I done? So yeah, I just thought to tell you that bit. So back to the story. So yeah, told him what was happening, gave a bit of detail, blah blah blah. And then he asked me, because he couldn't do it up his end, to try and pay again. So this was my second attempt. And I said, no, I still can't. I could either call you guys or you can call me on the landline, which at the moment is under repair. He was like, okay, so that means you want it changed. I was like, yes, I really want it changed. He was like, right, have you got a mobile number with you? I was like, yes. He said, right, okay. I'm going to transfer you to someone. Um, so that could happen. I thought, okay. So he transferred me to the woman. And my brain went into fog mode. Basically, foggy as this. And... Cut long story short... I gave her my new mobile number. Then she had to. Then she had to confirm, is this my is this number correct? And I said yes. And she said, okay, this might take up to twenty four hours. Um. And then she hung up. And I thought, right, what do I do? Do I wait twenty four hours, or what? And you know me, I get impatient. So, I did a bit of an experiment. This was my third attempt in making this payment, because I wanted it done as soon as I could. And I thought, right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a payment like ASAP. So, I had the same message up again, saying, but it was different this time. I know, it sounds confusing. It was the same message, but it was different. Like, so the same bit was like, oh, we're trying to identify it is actually you that's doing this. But it said this was what was different. Again, I could even call them to say this is the wrong number. Or they could text me on my mobile number. I thought, wow, that was quick. I thought I would have to wait 24 hours, but apparently not. So I thought, right, I'm gonna get this over and done with. So I pressed the text me button and hey presto changeo, I'm booked. As the Grinch would say. Um so yeah, my payment fell through, so I thought, right, now that's working, I can get my YouTube subscription back. And I did, I didn't have any permission for that. So I thought, brill, my card is back. So then, a couple of days went by, and I had another post. I thought it was for my mum, but apparently it was for me. Um... And yet, it was another code. This time... This time for online banking. And I thought, right, okay, I put this code in to activate my online banking. So I thought, okay, no problem. And then once I did the code, I thought, yes, it's in. As in, it's fully activated. So I was like, yay. So then, I installed the app. So the mobile banking app. Did the same thing. I signed in. And, hey, presto changer, I'm in. So the only way I can get in now, I could just use my fingerprint. So 
instead of keep putting the code in, I mean, I could still put the code in if I wanted to, but I thought fingerprints more easier for me. Even though I've written down three things to remember, but you know me, I'll go for the easy option, fingerprint. Actually, that leads me to my sixth update. Or was that my sixth update? No, that was my sixth update. First update was BT. Second update was... Hooch. Third, me. Fourth, something else. fifth this so yeah this is my sixth update um I think anyways so yeah sixth update for my birthday and this was kind of a bit of a surprise. Well, two surprises in fact. One is a very, very big surprise. The other one is, well, it's one of them surprises you wouldn't expect. So I'll go for the one that you wouldn't expect. On my 24th birthday, I am going to be getting a new phone, but this phone, even though it's a smartphone, it folds in half. It's called a Samsung Flip 4, I think. That's all I can remember. And we kept seeing it advertised and advertised. I and mean, me and my mum were like, oh, bliss. And my mum said, well, she can't get herself one because the amount of money she paid for her Pixel uh, 4. So, um, so she's going to get me one instead. I've been so intrigued these, in these phones for about a year. Well, about a year ish. Because you see, I had a carer who had one of the phones, and I was so intrigued in it. I was like, I was like thinking, how much are they and stuff like that. So when I searched for them for the first time, they were about just over 500 quid. But now, because they're advertising them. Like now, it's gone down. Not a lot, but it's gone down a bit. It's down to like just over 300. So, yeah, it's like over 300 quid, to my knowledge. So, yeah, from 500 to 300, it's like, okay, no worries. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to get a new phone, but that does not mean I am changing my phone number. I am going to keep with the same contract that I've got with uh, ID Mobile. So that means. Uh, the same mobile number that I've got, the same information that I've got, etc. And whatever numbers I've saved on my SIM, it'll get transferred anyways. If there's any numbers I haven't saved on my SIM, I must transfer it to my phone, like to my new phone once I get it uh, for my birthday. 
so that was one of the ex that was one of the surprises I was not expecting because my mum always said ever since I started losing phones and stuff my mum was like she literally would she literally put her foot down and, and, and went Kieran you're going to buy your phones I'm not buying them for you you can buy your own phones and when she said that she was going to get that one I was like and I felt like saying hang on it's supposed to be me doing this not you but I didn't so I just felt stuck I just felt shocked and gobsmacked thinking what man's gonna get this phone for me it's like a first in like ages I mean to be honest with the phone that I've got now I haven't well saying that it's been dropped quite a few times and I nearly lost it once so far but I think I'm going to totally look after the, the flip phone because they always say the bigger the better but at the end of the day bigger isn't always better for example the phone that I've got at the moment is a reasonable size but if I get anything better well not better but anything bigger yes some of my pockets are deep enough for that other pockets well especially some of my shorts pockets I've noticed my phone comes out and, and it doesn't you know snug in very well so I'm thinking with a flip phone because it can fold into size like a square instead of a rectangle um, it might fit in my pockets again so I mean it'll still be a big phone it'll just be flipped down in size so it might still be ample but I must remember if they do do them a screen project a screen projector a screen protector this time just in case if I do drop it at any point and a phone cover in that particular model so I'm like lovely so yeah I, to be honest I, I really can't wait till my birthday now now that's happening it's not just that this was another surprise this was like a big surprise again it was one of them ones where I was like I should be the one to do this but my mum's like I'm going to do it I'm going to be getting the second tattoo done and you, I think I already told you what tattoo I'm going to get done it's going to go here and it's a Wonder Woman symbol to represent mum and I have been thinking about it for quite some time. Either have it alone or have mum underneath. Kind of like with the Paw Prints where I put Cakey and Hooch underneath. But then I keep thinking, mm, it might look a bit too much. So I might just keep with the symbol and just say, oh, this is just to represent mum. Maybe one day I might I might have the writing underneath, but at the moment, at this present moment in time, I think I think the symbol's more than enough. It kind of sets it off a bit. So anyway, so yeah. So uh, to be honest, I'm really looking at my birthday because there's my phone and a tattoo on my 
So yeah, the vampires will be like, you can't donate blood for four months. I'll be like, I know this. And then after four months, I'll write in the paper to say that I've had another tattoo done. And I'll go, ee, Kieran, that's a cool tattoo. They'd be like, yeah, this is this is to represent my mom. I mean, some of them might know. Um, uh, or there might be some new faces going, ee, that's nice. So. I mean, the tattoos that I want might sound a lot. Like, it might sound like too many tattoos. The amount I'm thinking of. But... I don't think it is, not to me, because I don't want tattoos, like, everywhere. When I, every time I look at a tattoo, I kind of want things that represent something. Or something that I'm always inspired in and stuff. So I get tattoos for a reason. But other people, they just get tattoos for the sake of getting ta- tattoos and go, oh yeah, that looks good. Me, I just get it for a reason. So, yeah. So that's my sixth update about my birthday surprises. I'm like, holy hell. Uh, I could think of a seventh one, a seventh update, but at the moment nothing's coming into mind. I mean, you all know this update, so this doesn't really count for the seventh update, but because you already know this update about uh, the 2nd of January, where I'm doing a New Year's resolution. Well, should start the New Year's resolution, like when I come back on YouTube, as in, not vlogging too much, it'd be very, very rare where I vlog, when I vlog, uh, it'd be, quite, it'd be posts, or mostly projects, as you guys know, but I might add another New Year's resolution, it's the same New Year's resolution I had last year. Well, this year, technically speaking. And basically, I didn't follow it. I'll just leave it at that. Basically, I set this New Year's resolution this year. And I was going to stick by it. And quite a few times I didn't. I thought, oh... So, this time, I'm hoping it's going to be different. Right, this New Year's different. This New Year's resolution will be different. So, I am hoping, anyways, that I stick to what I say and stuff. Even if it means writing it down, but, yeah. I mean, quite a few times on my videos, I keep saying, oh, it is a one-off, it is a one-off. And now thinking about it, no matter how many one-offs I've done, they're not really one-offs. And to be honest, I should tell myself, just don't do it. Just don't even do it, Kieran. Get on with your life. And keep moving forward, just like um, Walt Disney. Hakuna Matata. You put your past behind you. And you just keep moving forward. Because that's what you can do. Is move forward. You probably know what I'm on about now I'm talking about that. (laughs) And they ain't going to mention it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, that's all I can think of. And I've been on here for how long? 40 minutes. Nah. 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 Can't be 40 minutes. 
40 minutes. They always say time flies when you're having fun. I'm like, I want to put in a twist. Time flies while you're vlogging. That's my twist. Oh, this morning, I don't know if to share this with Spectrum or not. I'm thinking of doing it. I did another poem this morning. It's called Labels. It's because I was inspired yesterday when watching Once Upon a Time. Where in the scene where Henry goes... You don't need a label and stuff. And that kind of got me thinking. I don't know why it got, didn't get me thinking the first couple of times when I heard that. But it got me thinking yesterday. I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a poem. And I did. This morning. And actually, it's not what you call a lengthy poem. Because some creative writings that I've done, they've all been lengthy. But this one's kind of short and sweet. So I might I might do that. I might do that for Spectrum. But I'm gonna share it with one of my friends first. See what she thinks. Or I could just surprise him. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna surprise him. Yeah, I'll surprise him. I'll do that when we're back on the 5th of uh, January. Anyway. Um, well, that's all, folks. Uh, that's all I can think of at this present time. I know you can't see me, but I can't be bothered to put the flash on because I'm ending the vlog. So I'm going to say, catch you later, YouTubers. Live long and prosper. And I'll see you in the next video if i don't see in the next uh video like say soon then i'll see you for the final vlog on the 23rd of december because that will be my final final vlog for this year and then obviously i'll do another one on the 2nd of january 2023 and then and then I'll just update you from there. But by not doing vlogs. But still. Anyways, catch you later, YouTubers. Live long and prosper. And ta-ta. And uh, yeah. Bye-bye.